Hey guys and welcome to today's episode. We're gonna go through the Wild Atlantic Way in County Clare. So stay tuned. So we are currently in County Clare, we are just leaving the town called Kilrush and it is a fantastic town, lots in it. The best thing so far of this town is this coffee shop called The Coffee Dock. Oh my god, we were looking around the town somewhere to go for coffee and we were kind of struggling, there wasn't many cafes open and we found this place and the man who owns it is the best crack ever. He's probably the most fun person that we've met this whole trip. Would you agree? Yep. So if you're in Kilrush and need a delicious hot chocolate or cappuccino, the coffee dock is the place for you. Great crack. He'll also tell you where to go all over County Clare and tell you all the things you need to know and exactly what to do. Amazing. So our next stop is Loop Head Lighthouse. So we'll show you when we get there. Well lads, we just finished a little walk or a little hike or a little spin up to Loophead Lighthouse. So we went from Kilrush and then we got to Kilkee and drove straight out here. It took about 30 minutes I'd say. And the roads are all right, they're grand. We got here, it looks great, the cliffs are great, really scenic, really amazing, but the weather turned really bad. We went for a walk around the, the lighthouse and just, we should have worn wellies because our, <laughs> our runners are just, we just stepped in too many bogs pretty much. Jenny's literally sitting on the side of the van now, uh, drying her shoes. So I don't know if the camera will pick this up through the window. Yeah, she's uh, she's not impressed, but it's grand. We're gonna try and go back to Kilkee tonight, find a spot near some car park that we found on park for night. Yeah, we're gonna just make some dinner and chill out. Talk to you then. Good morning, guys. So it's the next morning. We didn't record anything last night. As soon as we found a car space, we just got some Chinese cheeky takeaway and we had it in the van watched a little bit of Netflix and then we just went to sleep we were wrecked after all that driving we didn't find such a glamorous, a glamorous uh, car park we actually parked on this main road right here so it was actually a lot more comfortable and less windy and you know we got a better sleep yeah. than we thought we would so the next stop on the list is is it a hinge no, do, do. Doolin? No. The Cliffs of Moher? No. Doom Bag? Doom Bag. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a clue where we're going, do we? No. Okay. The next stop on the list is Doom Bag. So we'll let you know when we get there. Hey guys. So we are currently sitting in our van in La Hinch at La Hinch Beach. We got up from Kilkee this morning and we drove to Doom Bag. Dune Beg and Spanish Point. The weather is absolute muck. So we didn't get out at either of those places. We got out at Hinch, we parked up for a couple of hours. La Hinch, La Hinch. And we can see exactly why it's surfer's paradise. Wow, the beach is wild. 
the wind is wild, the van is rocking all over the shop. We went and we got a lovely toasted sambo up in the local pub. And now we are going to leave Lahinge and make our way towards Ennis Diamond for the night because there is a storm. Again, our luck as usual, storm Laura and Galway is flooded so we're going to and it's very windy tonight so we're just going to seek a little bit of shelter a little bit further inland in Ennis Diamond. Well guys we've been in Ennis Diamond for a while now we had to sh we had to take shelter from the we had to seek shelter from the the wind and the rain that were here today the weather's really bad and one thing that we just didn't anticipate was just how much the weather will affect your van life trip we've hidden away inside one of the hotels here and we've just gotten some tea and some scones and just you know sat by the fire it was really nice so we're going to try and get some laundry done pretty soon but just as we're walking out of the hotel lobby we managed to find some donkeys so when this chap goes across a little bit <laughs> we'll show you some donkeys or else i might show you some now Go on you. Hello. Too scared to do it. <laughs> We're seeing a lot more donkeys on this trip than I thought we would. And to be honest, after the last donkey mishap thing, after the last time the donkey nearly attacked me, I'm staying away from donkeys. So I'm not jumping over that fence. I'm staying my distance, you know, and that's it. But Ennis Timon is, it's a grand little town. It's a lot bigger than La Hinch. And there's some lovely cascades here that go right through the town and you can see them there. Really nice. Well guys, we made it to the laundrette. But the person before us literally just put her washing in as we got here. So we did half an hour to wait before we can put ours in. But it's four euros for eight kilos and then two euros to dry it. So it's not bad. We have two weeks worth of dirty washing to do so it'll be worth it'll be okay it'll be worth it lads the maddest thing ever just happened so we spent about three hours waiting for the the laundry stuff to be done people kept going in and forgetting to collect and all this kind of stuff anyway and we were at this coffee place earlier today it's a hotel and we decided to come back as soon as we got in the van there was a knock on the window and we were like, oh, we're getting moved on. I get out and this girl asks for Jenny. And I'm like, how does the hotel know that Jenny's staying here? <laughs> In the van, out the back at 10 o'clock at night. So turns out it's Jenny's friend. She had seen that I had posted an Instagram post saying we were having tea in this place, but that was hours ago. She, and she lives around the area, but she, drove around and just was looking for her van and she found us and she showed up with a massive bag of goodies like a massive bag and not only that she gave us a voucher to go visit this petting farm it's called Moher Hill Open Farm so we're going to go there tomorrow we just unboxed everything from Leanne and we were thinking oh it's going to be a packet of crisps and a few bits <laughs> It's literally like it's a old. week's shop. <laughs> Hand sanitizers, milk, rashers. Strawberries and rashers Strawberries, and everything, Shut there's up. more. <laughs> Tea vibes, coffee, pasta sauce, <laughs> what? Leanne, thank you so, so much. We're so grateful. This is unbelievable. We're actually still in shock. <laughs> this is crazy. Good morning, everyone. We had a nice sleep at that location last night after we got over the shock of Leanne's incredibly thoughtful present. Um, we're going to use some of the, the stuff for breakfast today, so we're really excited. We've made it all the way up to Moher Hill Open Farm, and we're going to check it out. It opens pretty soon, so we're going to have our coffee. We're actually using the Ridge Monkey for the first time. Anyone that doesn't know what the Ridge Monkey is, it's a portable grill. It basically does what an oven does on a hob. Um, going to have a quick coffee, and then we're going to show you around the farm. So we really can't wait. We heard there's alpacas and that's just the maddest thing ever to us. So let's just see what happens. Oh, they're dying first. How you getting on lads?
Look at the little run in them. Careful now. Hey guys, we just came out of that Manor Hill open farm. It is class, what a place. You have to go there. There's a petting farm, but there's ostriches, there's alpacas, there's llamas, there's deer, there's ponies, there's everything. The best thing though was the ostrich. She was terrifying. Oh, please, okay. Oh, a little bit too fast. These beat up pigs. Feed him! <laughs> oh. <laughs> deep! Deep! <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, Jesus, I just heard something wrong after me. Me heart. Oh. Wow. Absolutely class. Jurassic Park stuff. Now we were hoping to get to the Cliffs of Moher, but it is absolutely lashing rain, as you can see. You might not see there but it's definitely lashing so we don't know what we'll do we we'll, might hang on and see if the rain passes or we might move on we've both done the cliffs of moher before at least we've done it before but anyway we'll keep you posted bye Did the cliffs of moher the weather totally turned around after it was lashing rain the clouds just went away and the sun came out now it's roasting so it was perfect timing we didn't park at the visitor center because apparently that's 10 euros per person to get in there there's actually loads of different parking spots around the cliff of moher for a lot cheaper that you can park at and walk to the cliffs so we found this park park car park car park that was five euros in total so we parked there and it was literally a five minute walk to the tops of the cliffs lovely walk it was fantastic so we had a great time the cliffs were massive i still think mizzen head cliffs are a bit more impressive but it's very impressive all the same this family came along and they had this little black dog it went it ran straight over towards the edge of the cliff and my heart stopped i was like woman call your little doggo back quick but they, the dog was just Ballsy. Anyway, it was really windy at one stage. My feet were actually almost lifted from the ground. It was wild. So now we are on our way to Doolin. Doolin. And then on to, I don't think we're doing Liz, doing Varna. Oh, we're going to Fenor Beach. We have a recommendation to go to Fenor Beach. So that's where we're going. So we'll keep you posted. Bye. We drove through Doolin. It was one of those situations where you, you realize you're driving through the town too late so we didn't stop or anything we just kept driving and we drove on to Fenor Beach but lo and behold the only car park in the area there's a two meter height barrier that's us out we're 2.65 meters so we couldn't do we look for somewhere else to pull over but we can't so our next stop is the Ballyvaughan tea rooms and gardens so we're gonna check it out it looks pretty cool online so we'll give it a go Hey guys, well we've just come out of the Valley Vaughan Tea and Gardens and it was absolutely amazing. They're famous for their cakes and their herbal teas and that's exactly what we had and it was beautiful. Dean tried to take the drone up at the pier and almost crashed it twice. He may or may not insert some footage here, but we'll see. So that guys concludes the Wild Atlantic Way County Clare edition. In our next video, we're doing the Wild Atlantic Way County Galway edition. So if you've made it this far in the video, as always, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We're also on Instagram at The Fitness Forest. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.